Boko Haram suspends farming activities in Yobe community after residents celebrated killing of insurgents by a Nigerian army. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. Residents of the action follow the celebration with Nigerian troops for neut who neutralized members of a terror group who tried to infiltrate and attack the community recently. Okay, you see why I said it is not even yet time for us to jubilate? That you win a battle does not mean the war is, is won. These people will keep frustrating. In fact, it is like the more you celebrate, the more they feel, huh, let's, teach, let, let's, let's, let's give them more. Let's give them more things to worry about. That is it. You don't jubilate over, yes, yes, of course, you, you, you can tell yourself you've done well or you're doing well. You can give yourself a pass on the back, but definitely don't lose sight. Don't lose sight of what the goal is. The goal is to win the war, not just the battle. Our Nigerian um, military, they are quick to jubilate and clap. And of course, the government is to the, come and boast uh, how they are doing this and doing that. And look. The more you do this, the more you... It is like daring them. I think the first and the last thing that we need in Nigeria now is the good news that all those people completely. From the terrorists, everybody under that umbrella. The bandits, the ISWAP, the Boko Haram, the... Gunmen or no gunmen, max gunmen, all of these people that they are quashed. That is what we need. The news we need, we want the Netherlands to come out and talk that hey, okay, these people are no longer we are not we have not been seeing them at all. We want it to continue like that for the past six months. Then they come again for one year. We celebrate an anniversary without them, like we celebrate a new year without kidnapping, killing. Um, bombing of houses, attacking the military base, and all of that. That is what we need now. That is, if it's after a year, two years, three years, we, we are going to still keep our eyes open. But we will be assured that, ah, three years and these people are not around. We will not start making sure anything that is going to cause them to break in again. From the outside and from the inside. Making sure that children are... are, are are uh, 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 sent to school. Parents who are giving birth to children know what the core family planning. They know that if you want to bring a child into the world, you are totally responsible. Nobody's responsible for that child. Even if there's a rich man as your neighbor there, the person is not responsible. The main person responsible is you yourself that brought the child. And of course, you train these parents to value education. Then that is the kind of news we want. Then gradually, gradually, you checkmate everything, making sure those people from the outside, you don't come. And from the inside, nobody turns to his child soldier. Nobody have memories of what happened. We make that memory so blur that people who don't even want to go back to it. It is there we can now clap. Then we can now say, ah, okay, oh, the Nigerian troops, so you have done. Of course, we are going to be saying we have done, but we are going to be this time around. It is going to be better. Let's listen to the news in detail. The Islamic State back faction of Boko Haram, the Islamic State West African province, ISWAP, formerly known as Jamaat al Sansuna Lidawa Wal Jihad, has suspended farmers from going to their farms in the outskirts of Boniyadi, a community in the Gujba local government area of Yobe State. Residents with the action followed the celebration with Nigerian troops who neutralized the members of a terror group who tried to infiltrate and attack the community recently. Residents of Buniyadi had taken to the street on Sunday evening to jubilate after Nigerian soldiers repelled an attack on the community. Buniyadi came into the limelight in 2014 after Boko Haram insurgents killed 58 male students of the town's federal government college. Military sources said it suggests in the aftermath of a Sunday evening won farmers against going to their farms. Since the death of Jazz leader Abubakar Shekau, ASWAP has been consolidating, consolidating its grips and location around Lichard. 
Just recently, it appointed Walesani Shiwaram, a 45-year-old, as the new leader Wali of Iswap in Lake Chad. The sex membership has swollen with the defection of hundreds of Boko Haram fighters under Shekau. The Nigerian army has repeatedly claimed that insurgency has been largely defeated and frequently underplayed any losses. The terror group has caused over 50,000 deaths and displaced millions of individuals, mainly in Adamawa, Bronu, and Yobe State. It has increasingly targeted farmers in their violence. They accused them of spying and passing information to the military and the local militia fighting them. Imagine, you cannot dance and party and be happy. You see, sincerely, those who are still looking at this as a northern issue, let me say this to you. You don't want to be you don't want to be in these people's shoes. You don't want to feel their pain. These people they live a life as in I am not even sure it is a life. They wake up in the morning as they are opening their mouth to yawn. That ah they just remember that ah see you, these people can come anytime. They will close their mouth. As they are wanting to stretch, they remember ah these people can come anytime. They plan, okay, I'm supposed to go to the farm today, they remember. Oh, they say we should not go to the farm. Your children, you wake up and your children have, have gone outside. Your mind is beating fast. Where are they? You don't want to live in that. In fact, those days will age and die quickly. Why? Because they're living their life in so much fear. No freedom to do anything. Children are no longer, the, the few schools that are open, they're no longer open. The, of course, the Northerners do not have enough schools. The few ones that they have that are open, they're not, they're not permitted to go there. A lot of things happen. Then children who are giving birth to, who are supposed to be enjoying their childhood, who are supposed to be running around, you know, creating memories for themselves that they will grow with. And will say, ah, I remember those days. Just like as we now, we are in this part of, you know, we are, we are, we are in the quiet part of the, the country. And of course, we have memories. These people's life has been taken away from them. As in, they are watching life go away, not they are being killed. 